imagine you're this small prey animal and this giant scary creature comes up to you of, of course you're gonna be scared Hi everyone, this is Guinea Dad. We got a couple questions from everyone and we wanted to make this video to answer everyone's question. Is it normal for one of my guinea pigs to have an attitude and never trust me and sometimes bite me? Yes, that's very normal. <laughs> Especially if you're new. It's possible that your new guinea pig will trust you on your first sight, but that's very unlikely. Don't be discouraged if that happens. They just need time. Imagine you're them. Imagine you're this small, small prey animal and this giant scary creature comes up to you. Of, of course you're gonna be scary. Until that giant proves that he or she is the provider and the protector and will do anything for the small creature. We have a video on bonding tips. So if you look at that, it will tell you step by step how to bond. It's not a typical bonding tip that you would find on YouTube because it's not just like, oh, give veggies. I mean, it's yeah, giving veggies is good. But I feel that when you're trying to bond with guinea pigs to a level that they're going to completely trust you, you have to go in steps, like kind of trust level one, level two, level three, and so on and so forth. Can there ever be too many Heidi's in their cage? Um, yes and no. Having more Heidi is good, but that's only if they have enough running space. Especially if you have baby guinea pigs, they're going to love to zoomies and they're going to love to run around. But if you have too many Heidi's in the way, they won't be able to run as much. Number of hiding spot, number of Heidi's, need to match at least the number of guinea pigs so they don't fight too much over the height. What is healthy weight for a guinea pig? So it really differs. After a while, you can kind of tell. You can tell when your guinea pig is a little bit overweight. A healthy weight is the stable weight. Just an example, if they're stable 1.5 1 pound or so, then 1.5 is stable. If they're continuing to increase weight even though they're fully adult guinea pig, maybe more than one year old, then there's something wrong with the diet probably. You're probably giving too many pellets. So it's a little bit difficult because it's guinea pigs, but I try to make sure I control the amount of pellets that I give. I try to give one eighth of a cup per guinea pig. If I detect that tofu is becoming overly overweight and then she's becoming lazy, less active, then I would decrease the amount of the pellet to a little bit less than that and make sure that I supplement vitamins with more veggies. Try to change the cage layout as well. You will see them be more active, be more explorative. It's completely different from before, so they can look around and kind of explore. That's also encouraging exercise, so make sure you do that. Will you ever come out with orchard grass version of boxes? Some people like me are allergic to Timothy. The boxes do help a lot though, because it contains everything. We will be coming out with Orchard Hay pretty soon. We'll send a new, out a newsletter once it gets ready. So if you haven't yet, um, you can sign up to our newsletter by going to guineadad.com. Can guinea pigs get along if they come from different places? Yes, of course. You know, tofu and dumpling, they all kind of can come from different places. Can a young and old guinea pig get along? Uh, yes. Most definitely. If you have a young guinea pig and an old guinea pig, obviously young guinea pig is not going to challenge old guinea pig in most cases. So the dominance kind of sets there and then. So there's actually less chance to fight as well. It says, I'm finding a lot of contradictory information regarding what vegetable to feed guinea pigs, how much, how often, what vegetables do you feed your guinea pigs, how much and how often. This was the problem that I've had before as well. So I know exactly what you're going through. I found out that a lot, there are a lot of bad information out there. So I try to, whenever I give you guys, um, suggestions when it comes to nutrition and other guinea pig tips. I try to give only tips that I can prove. When it comes to vegetables, you shouldn't give only one vegetable, but if I had to pick one favorite would be bell pepper. Because bell peppers have such a high vitamin C level compared to any other 
vegetables. We actually made a video. It basically gives you specific meal plans. It tells you exactly what vegetable of what amount you should give each time every day. So that's all the questions that we got. I hope that answered your question. And if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to send it to us. And we're happy to make second episode of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.